Every coffee table in the suburbs has got country life on it right. with glossy photographs of all these gorgeous houses full of antiques and knickknacks. And they have this notion that that's the way you live in the country. Well, you bloody well don't. I live on a small island. I am self-reliant for my own water supply. And when I moved there, I realized how much your attitude changes when you are self-sufficient for something and you're much more careful with it. And I wanted to see if other people also were as careful. If you produce your own electricity, you're off the grid. But generally, people that are self-sufficient for their electricity are also off other grids. They may have uh, their own water supply. They may take care of their own garbage rather than have pickup. Uh, they may have no television, for example, and things like that. This outhouse is basically just a compost box. I think that people are so afraid of like poop and not at all afraid of chlorine bleach. It just like blows my mind. You can't get any simpler than pooing on the ground. It's so easy to get it up to 300. They reflect the sun into this insulated box. That's how much power the sun has. It's incredible. So if the wind is blowing and the sun is shining and the batteries are fully charged, we have more power than we can use. It's a good time to run the dishwasher when the sun's out. <laughs> it might be sewing, quilting, knitting, spinning, weaving. I love doing any of that stuff. A lot of people's houses are fantasies. My design comes from the earth. What you're feeling is plaster. Um, but inside is a mixture of sand, clay, and straw. So this is tires and covered with mud. So everybody could have a house instead of having a mortgage. Part of why I'm doing what I'm doing is to create a place where my daughter can survive, really. It's just not possible to sustain what we're doing, converting the biosphere into a, a human sphere. The learning curve for somebody moving out of the city, coming to this place, is straight up straight up. You've got to understand plumbing. You've got to understand basic wiring. But basically, if my power goes out, I fix it. 